quite well because I remember screaming to you all. I think, I think we did remember Slumbridge. That was before all. And uh, Jack, uh, he was uh, booking bound into the twisted wheel. And uh, they were called, the agents worked on an exchange basis, so we worked down south and the southern bands worked up here. Uh, quite a bit were written gone. It was hard enough trying to think of all the moves and tunes. And he, he had a lot of intros playing him to, to get his magic going and throwing fire and so it's very difficult, does not it? And these lads was giving us a bit of a good time. It didn't paralyse anybody, but it went down OK. Anyway, the lads was going to start thumping the van and all this, so... I mean, I've never took a backward step in my direction. I thought, well, oh, why should I get in trouble with a, a bloody idiot? Because it didn't seem to be a bit of an idiot with that man. So he got used to it. And he asked me what was the problem. I said, these geezers are waiting for us outside, you know. Don't worry about it. And he's a big tall man. And he always wore a black combo and a leather pink water in the corner. And he just said, follow me. And he walked up to the first of the gang, put his hand in his pocket and pulled the gun out. An American uh, service revolver. I said, right, who's going to be the first of all? And just back to him. Okay. And that took some guns. That was. So, you know, it, He's one of them, he put his money where he's made. <laughs> one thing when we did, uh, thank the lucky stars with it, which was a real unique thing because on that show was my band, which uh, originally was a big part. Georgie came in the blue plates and started off with the dominoes and came the The rats was on, which was Malcolm and Alan. So there was three bands on, thank you lucky stars, that all came from the roots of one man. Which I think that's, that's pretty unique now. And also was a young fellow with a guitar called Jimmy Page. It was a character. Well, the sort of place we're at. Asking me questions, you get no answers because I am black in America, and they don't even tell me what time the chickens wake up. <laughs> Playing with these people, you always felt good. Uh, you felt part of it. There was no uh, no snobbery on behalf of any of them. I mean, Jay was very. Uh, it was like a, a young. Uh, what do I call it? If England, they say he's a Jack the Lad, but he was American. And uh, some of his jokes. Because every joke he did, his favourite trick was to put. Smoking was legal then. Uh, any, any club he went in, everybody smoked, so they'd have big ashtrays. And the first thing he did, he'd get some flesh powder and put it in ashtrays so that anybody put a singing <laughs> regular. Man. And he used to wipe me off that. You know, really, really fun. Where did he get his flesh powder from? Didn't he? God knows. He, 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 you wanna, what he did, he had to. Uh, I'm trying to think of the song now, it's called. Well, it was the whammy. Oh, I put a spell on him. He used, he used to use flash boxes, which he made himself. But he put 13 amp fuse in. You know, you break it into a circuit box. And he filled them up with gunpowder. Not flash powder, proper gunpowder. And he did it at TV studio, but they stopped him at finish because uh, when gunpowder goes off, it comes down like a black confetti. <laughs> I believe he did it when he first arrived in England, he did three cousins on him. He was frightened about to death. And, uh, Imagine now, he'd probably just get arrested. <laughs> I did. I was surprised he didn't lock him up. But, uh, like I said, when he stayed with me, he went on that all day. It was hilarious. He went to the corner shop, paper shop and all the more. 
lady was screaming and I went, <laughs> anyway, she must have thought they were going to put a spell on it. <laughs> but, uh, Because Hawkins, the uh, way he did Jay, he, he did a run, just got the round with done and he just disappeared and we were supposed to be going with him to some or something, I don't know. We did a bit with Champion Jack Newbury. We think, oh, bless my kid. Funny man too, he makes blues happy. He said, because blues were originally depicted as being a uh, misery slave. Whereabouts in crew? Uh, top rankings. Uh, I mean, yes, in fact, we did quite a few top, we did top ranking Darlington achievements. Uh, and Middlesbrough, so. I assume they, 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 must, uh, they must have had the, the top rank circuit on board, you know, you usually do it like that, you know, and uh, uh, it, it was, it was poor there, uh, this thing, just... about a big welcome for Georgie Fame and the Blue Flames. Generally enjoyed it, meeting up with old friends. And there's plenty of them around. I can't 
You don't help me. 